Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful double crab stitch finish. Marcella back Billy on Instagram came up with this stitch. She gave me permission to make this video. I will add a link to her Instagram in the description. I crocheted this piece over four yarns. I already left out two yarns to reduce the stitch height so the jog will be less noticeable. I will crochet two more stitches over these two yarns. The last stitch I will finish with red. Mochilla stitches are very close together, that is why with the crab stitch you will skip every other stitch. So we won't insert the hook in this stitch, but in this one. Insert the hook in the back loop. Grab the yarn. Pull it up. Yarn over and pull through. Make sure the loop is long enough to reach the next stitch. Insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it up, yarn over and pull through. One more time. Skip one stitch, insert the hook in the back loop, grab the yarn, pull it up, yarn over and pull through. Finish the whole round like this. I almost finished the round. The next stitch I will make in half of the last green stitch. So insert in this loop, grab the yarn, pull it up, take the next color, yarn over and pull through. You see that this loop of the light green is really stretched. Take the light green yarn, pull it and it will be good again. This next round we will insert the hook under the crab stitch of the previous round. So not in a loop of the round before that, just under the crab stitch. The first crab stitch I will make under this loop. Make sure the loop is long enough to reach the next stitch. Go under the crab stitch, grab the yarn, pull it up, yarn over and pull through. Insert under the crab stitch, pull up the yarn, yarn over and pull through. Finish the whole round like this. I finished this round, now I will insert my hook here and make a slip stitch. Now it's just weaving in the ends and then you will have a beautiful double crab stitch finish. Thank you for watching.